in this lecture we will discuss about the solution of the problem of the ray which i have given in the today's morning so uh, the question is if you pass a random process x of t which is wss and uh, it has a power spectral density given by sx of f which is given by this so it is given as input to an ideal low pass filter as uh, h of f is given to be this question is which of the given statements is true okay so because nothing is given about random process x of t let's assume its mean is mu x so if the mean of the random process is mu x then the mean of the output process we have seen in the class that which is mu y equal to expectation of y of t which is equal to mu x into h of 0 note that from the given h of f h of 0 would be equal to 1 and hence it would be equal to mu x okay now so it means that the first statement is true now let us look at the average power of the random process which is given by px equal to expectation of x square of t which is equal to rx of 0 and according to the property which is equal to area of the power spectral density which is given by this equation okay now what would be the average power of the output process again that would be py equal to expectation of y square of t which would be equal to ry of 0 and clearly which is equal to the area of the output power spectral density sy of f but we have seen in the class that this is equal to the sx of f is sy of f is equal to sx of f into h of f into h of minus f and hence let us substitute sx of f which is given by e power minus f and uh, h of f if you see it is a rectangular function from minus half to plus half and h of minus f h of minus f also would be a rectangular function from minus half to plus half and hence this would be this integral simplifies to integral minus half to plus half e power minus mod f df so clearly if you look at these two functions this area is from minus infinity to infinity and this area is from minus half to plus half and hence these two fellows are not equal and hence we say that expectation of y square of t is not equal to expectation of x square of t again if you uh, so and hence the second condition is false so now again if you look at the duality property because the power spectral density is given to be e power minus f applying duality property you can easily see that this is uh, the Fourier uh, the, the signal which has e power minus mod f here it's a typo tcc is not there so the signal which has e power minus mod f as a Fourier transform would be 2 by 1 plus 4 pi square tau square and in the class we have seen that uh, mu x square or here mu y square is equal to limit tau tends to infinity r y of tau so clearly if you when tau tends to infinity r y of tau will tend to 0 and hence mu y square is 0 and hence mu y equal to 0 so clearly the third choice is also wrong why we got expectation of y of t to be equal to 0 which is not equal to 2 and hence the statements 2 and 3 are false and hence the only correct statement is the first one which is expectation of x of t equal to expectation of y of t hope you understand the solution thanks